Ali and I am here to help you gain clarity over your life heal and clear energetic blockages and things that are standing in your way up level your mindset so that you can manifest the glory of God that it's you that is within you how are you today I hope you are feeling peaceful productive prosperous living passionately and in your power and on purpose the six P's okay today's Oracle message or daily healing inspiration is coming from our book my book manifesting your masterpiece if you have not purchased this book and you are looking to do those things that I talk about here on the channel and the things that I just stated, as in up-level your mindset so that you can manifest your greater slice of life or your best life or the glory of God that is within you, make sure you get a copy of this book and add it to your healing library. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. Left or right, left or right? I feel left for sure. And let's see what we come up with. Think of a question, okay, in your mind. Something that you want the answer to. Remember the message, uh, you will need to extrapolate upon the core of some aspect here. I have two, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Believe in your value. That's the underlying message, which we'll get to. The top message literally is exude harmony and balance. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All of creation pulsates with life and exists in harmony and balance. You are part of this larger field of harmony and balance. When you flow with the energy of life, things are simple and there is a relative ease that characterizes your existence. This is your natural state and provides a contrast to when you feel out of sync with life. Out of sync with life feels like confusion. How are you feeling, Miss Sophia? Confused. It feels like confusion. It feels like doubt. It feels like boredom. It feels like disharmony. It feels like being discombobulated. It feels tense. It feels constricted. It feels unnatural and it feels uncomfortable. All right? That's what out of sync with life feels like. If you are feeling that, say it. I am out of sync with life and begin to sync with life, okay? We had a message a couple days ago where we were talking about this breathe in the energy of God, this breathe in the flow and relax and take some time to go inside, all right? So we were created to feel the life force power, momentum and energy of being connected at all times to something far greater than what we could ever imagine. You were created for prime time, baby. So the more that we are consciously connected to this force, the more we will experience this state of internal peace. So the message today is asking you to take a look at what in your life has you feeling topsy-turvy? What in your life has you feeling out of sync with your natural state of balance? Is it a person that has you feeling out of sync? Is it a place that you keep going to that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand? Is it someone at work in the adjoining cubicle? Is it the job that you are going to? Is it the business decision that you're getting ready to make to form a partnership with someone that just does not feel right? Is it the a promise of a dream or a quick rich a scam or rags to riches narrative that someone is telling you to get you to invest in that's making you feel out of sync and out of balance. Something that you're having to overthink. What is it in your life that feels like it is breaking step with a natural state of emotional equanimity, also known as equilibrium, all right? So the key is knowing. So, okay, so this, 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 this higher um, force that is greater than anything that you can imagine, all right? So the more that you're constantly connected to this force, the more that you will experience a state of internal peace. People say all the time they can't relax. They can't sleep at night. I was a chronic insomniac 
um, and anxiety person for over 20 years. Constantly had that complaint. But what was I doing about it? Was I getting quiet? Was I sitting my arse down somewhere? Or was I constantly being stimulated? Was I constantly trying to control everything? Was I constantly acting on every impulse? If you want to experience a state of synchronization and flow, you have to sit your butt down. You cannot keep hopping from one place to the other, doing the same things the same way you have been and expect to change anything in your life. It is not going to happen. The key is knowing when you're out of balance and need to restore your connection with this larger field of unity. When you feel depleted, emotionally upset and out of sorts, know that you are out of congruence with this force and that a reorganization is necessary, y'all. During these times, you must seek balance because you are out of balance. You are out of balance. Stop and take stock. Breathe. Cease reacting to the chaos around you, which is only serving to mirror the discord within. There can be a whole lot of chaos around you, and you don't even have to be cognizant of it or moved by it if you're in internal state. Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. If your internal state is solid and steady and has equilibrium, it doesn't matter what's going on out there. It doesn't phase you at all. But if it's bothering you, then it's because something inside of you isn't at the highest octave of balance that it actually could be. Remember that. Find peace, perspective, and connection by anchoring yourself in the present moment and being a witness to the miracle of creation all around you. Take in the effortless flow and allow yourself to entrain to this frequency for a moment. Resolve to do what is necessary to get back into alignment with the only true essence that fuels all. Create ways to declutter your life, whether it is letting go of emotional debt that you have by way of owing people money or financial debt via credit cards or borrowing or being overextended or maybe the clutter in your life is emotional clutter as a result of a relationship that you should have let go a long time ago, which is oftentimes the case with so many of us okay, on this journey is knowing when to close a door so that you can open another one, knowing when to get out of a toxic environment or something that is ceasing to allow for your growth and your fruition. I'm going to use that word like that because it is no longer to be. It is simply no longer. So whatever it is that you need to declutter, for some, literally it is the physical space around us that actually needs to be decluttered because the physical space is not allowing the energy of life to permeate our environment. So do what's necessary, all right? Pre Reprioritize your life, manage your energy better, and shift your consciousness and attitude. Know that you have the power to make a difference. Here's a question that you're going to want to ask yourself. What can you empower yourself to do in order to bring in more harmony and balance in your life? So we have looked at the top of the deck energy as the fact that you are in a state of incongruence somewhere in your life or something is out of harmony or out of balance or there's something that needs to be brought into more alignment in your life. And that as you believe in your value, which is the underlying message, as you believe more in your value, you will be able to make the decisions necessary to declutter in order to come into congruence and alignment to bring the balance back into your life. But before you do any of that, you need to get still, all right? Believe in your value. Let's look at this message. Honor yourself by knowing your value and being willing to ask for what you feel your contribution is worth. Never shortchange yourself by charging less or asking for less than what you or your services are worth. Don't undervalue your accomplishments or your expertise. Take time out to acknowledge and celebrate the milestones and accomplishments that have made you who you are and have given you the unique skill set to be able to do what you do and to be who you are. Speak your asking price with confidence and have faith that you will get what you are deserving of. Your asking price says a lot about your self-concept 
and your expectations of life. Allow opportunities to arrive that answer your prayers for more abundance by asking and then trusting that you will receive your due proportion. Ask and you shall receive. And the question you need to be asking yourself is what should you be asking for and what is stopping you? What is it in your life that you know you deserve better than? What is it in your life that you should be living in and reveling in that honors you, that requires that you put your foot down or set a boundary or ask for more? Is it the job? that is only going to give you what you ask for or doesn't mind if you're settling because they don't have to pay you what you're worth. Is it the relationship that you are in that you are settling and refusing to speak authentically about what your gripes are with regard to needing more, desiring more, deserving more? All right. What is it that you need to be asking for. You can take this literally if you have your own business and it's about setting a price for something or you volunteered to do something for someone and you can't keep it up until and unless you're being compensated proportionately for the effort that you're putting in. But it may not be about that. It could simply be about what is it that you need to speak that conveys you have a higher value for yourself than what the other party is being required to acknowledge. What is that? Now let's take a look at two of the butterfly affirmations. How soothing, right? And let's see what other messages. We have one, we have two, we're going to get four messages. Three, and we're going to get four. It looks like five, one or two come out. First and foremost, everything's going to be okay. All right. Everything's going to be okay. It already is okay. You just hadn't caught up to it yet. What's that movie? I forget what it was called, but everything will work out. And if it doesn't, it's not the end. Like everything's always going to work out. It always does. It has no choice but to. That's the way life is. I am strong enough to face every issue in my life with courage and trust. I love this color. Isn't that gorgeous? And here is everything is okay. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, the next one. I am thankful for many things and my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. I love that. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> is why I said this before. I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. Take your hands off the steering wheel to bring in the harmony and the balance and the most creative energy of the universe. You have to give way and allow. You have to trust and have faith. And if that is not a part of your paradigm, then rest assured, suffering no doubt is. Next. I don't compare myself to others because I am not meant to be a copy of anyone else. I was born to be me and original, one of a kind. I am happy to be me. I'm so happy to be here. And here we go again, y'all. All right, Whispers of the Ocean. Let's get us a beautiful message from the Whispers of the Ocean deck. So yeah, it's about something in your life being out of balance because you need to feel more deserving of whatever it takes to get the balance back. It's something that likely has to be tweaked, adjusted, or maybe even removed from your life to get the balance back. Here we go, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, mutually beneficial venture. Look at that. That's why I love these cards. This could be a relationship. It could be a mutually beneficial venture, something that you are cohabitating with, uh, with regard to someone else, two people, three people, collaboration, um, building, teamwork, um, two people coming together to invent a third or create something else. It's some type of partnership or liaison potentially. There's an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. See how that plays out. If it helps bring in the balance, go for it. If it doesn't, don't. 
Let's look at that message a little bit more in depth. Deepen your awareness of a relationship, which may be a romantic love, a friendship, or a business association. This card indicates that the spirit of cooperation and mutual interest supports this connection. Make sure you are doing whatever is necessary to foster better communication and to strengthen what is already in place. Use balance, respect, compassion, and understanding as these traits will improve all relationships at this time. This connection may offer a new perspective or insight. Strive to be more thoughtful and kinder, not only to a companion, but also to yourself. To be truly loved, deeply treasured, and highly valued by others, create those feelings for yourself. Do you see? Creating those feelings for yourself makes you full, makes you not in need of anything else from anyone else, which is when you get everything, literally. Work towards loving yourself more and having high regard for the truth of who you are. Many need to do this in their life. If you would get busy about the business of focusing on you instead of searching for everything outside of yourself to so-called enrich your life, you would find life would be more rich. I'm telling you, when you value yourself, others cannot help but respond to you in an equally affirmative manner. It's like if you tell the universe you don't mind traveling in coach or at the back, that's where you're going to be. That's what you're going to get. But if you travel first class and you only accept the highest of the high, according to where you are on your evolutionary ladder, which is a subjective thing, then that's what you're going to get. What you put out is what you get in return. When you feel your value is high and you only are at the upper echelon, then that's the only kind of stuff that comes to you. All right? Clownfish and sea anemones have a special relationship. Sea anemones can paralyze and kill their prey with their stinging tentacles, but clownfish are protected. That's Nemo, Nemo. <laughs> just keep coming, just keep coming, just keep coming, just keep coming. Cl clownfish are protected from their venom. Clownfish have mucus on their skin that keeps them from feeling the sting of the tentacles. What the the clownfish live in partnership with certain species of anemone and shelter among their numerous tentacles. The clownfish are protected from their predators and in turn keep some harmful elements from the anemone. So they have a mutually beneficial, what they call symbiotic relationship. Isn't that gorgeous? So something to do with partnership, something to do with balance, Something to do with two, something do, to do with trusting in the universe, letting go of things in your life that are cluttering up your ability to feel a state of grace, ease, and harmony. If this message resonates with you, please share why it resonates with you in the comments and share this message of balance for a Libra that you know or someone else that you feel may be seeking greater frontiers of balance in their life. I want to thank you for supporting the channel. I want to thank you for being here. I love you guys. I love you. I hope that you are looking forward to this matriculation into December and that your head is up and your chin is high and you have insulated yourself from the chaos that is always striving or capable, if not striving, of driving your vibe down. Okay? Keep reaching for the stars. Lots of love to you, and I will see you again soon.